Hello, it's David, and in this video, I'm going to be explaining to you how to lose weight quickly. Now, before we begin, if you give this video a thumbs up, I would very much appreciate it. But without any further ado, let's dive right into today's topic. Now, how to lose weight. You already know how to do this, and that is to burn off more calories than you put in. That's right, fat burned equals calories out minus calories in. The more calories you burn, the more and the greater the caloric deficit that you create, the more fat that you are going to burn off. However, most people jump to the conclusion that, you know, if I absolutely starve myself and uh, yeah, create as big a deficit as I can and try and maintain it for as long as I can, then that is going to result in the most weight lost and I'm going to get things done in the quickest way possible. However, that is not entirely true. You see, because if you withhold too many calories, then that puts your body into starvation mode. There is a starvation response where your body then says, hey, I'm not getting all that much energy, so therefore how about we tone down the level of energy that I burn off in order to save, save, that, save that energy, save those calories uh, to try and sustain myself over the long run. Now, as a result, you end up feeling lethargic and terrible, and uh, yeah, you end up not losing all that much weight. And uh, yeah, this, this makes it very difficult to sustain over the long run, and you lose hope, you lose confidence, and uh, yeah, you pack it all in, and then probably end up um, eating a whole load of food to make yourself feel uh, moderately back to normal again, and that's when the weight piles back on. So naturally we want to avoid this starvation response. So how do we cut the calories in a way that doesn't activate this body's starvation response and at the same time uh, enables us to maintain a consistent calorie deficit so that we can continue with the weight loss process. Now a figure that I think is the best is uh, to take off 10% of your total daily energy expenditure. So first off, you work out how many calories you need on any given day and then multiply it by 0.9. You are essentially eating 90% of your total daily energy expenditure. Now that total daily expenditure is going to vary from day to day depending on whether you do exercise or not. So therefore it's best to have an idea of what that value is on a rest day and then similarly again what that value is on any day that you exercise and then plan to get within 10% of that because 10% enables us to have that caloric deficit which is the uh, nutritional principle that we need to leverage in order to activate fat loss but at the same time is small enough to avoid putting your body into starvation response and at the same time uh, enables you to keep a decent level of sanity to enable you to maintain it over a consistent basis and therefore keep the weight loss going until you reach the place where you want to be in with regards to your body fat levels because that is another part of the equation when it comes to weight loss and that is maintaining sanity. If you uh, undertake a massive weight loss program but by the end of it, you know, you're really irritable, you're really frustrated with life and you absolutely hate it. You know, what is the point? You're doing that, you're doing the weight loss in order to make yourself happy and therefore you want to do it in a manner where you keep your sanity. And at the same time, that is also most likely to do it in the quickest method by maintaining your sanity because you'll be able to keep it up over the long run and by keeping that consistency you'll get there quickest without this up and down up and down up and down you know really trying to accelerate the weight loss and then um you know dropping falling falling off the rails because you just try to do it too quickly therefore keeping things nice steady and consistent is the quickest way in order to maintain weight loss so those are my thoughts on how to 
lose weight and do so quickly. If you found this video informative, then please hit the share button and share this video across your various social media platforms. Otherwise, if you'd be interested in a little bit of extra advice when it comes to your nutrition, head on over to westcoff.com forward slash email and sign up for my weekly coaching email filled with nutritional insight and inspiration in order to keep you motivated and doing the things that you need to do over the long run in order to maintain a healthy diet and fuel your physical maintenance and development. Finally, I've been David Westcoff. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again next time.